when I first came to Thailand, didn't realize how many jobs and opportunities there were. I mean, I'm from a small town in Stoke-on-Trent in England, and you know, the, the job opportunities there were extremely limited, if I'm honest, you know, uh, for myself. You know, you really needed to work very hard. I found it tricky to get work in the UK, in, in the area I lived. I think maybe I should have, you know, moved to a bigger city. It would have been better for work. Uh, looking back, another big way it's changed my life is being away from a family for, you know, long periods of time, especially with the big C that happened, you know, a few years ago now, uh, you know, but generally when you're living, you know, 10, 12 hours away in an airplane, if you're realistic, you know, you're not gonna be able to go home uh, or what you would class as home, you know, for at least 12 months, two years sometimes. So you don't see your family for, you know, extended periods of time. So you do come, become a bit distant from them. You feel like you have got a family, but it feels like a very distant family. You know, I know they're always there, but, it, you know, sometimes it pulls on the art strings a bit when you're always away uh, for a long period of time. If it's a month or two, it's okay. But when it's like 12 months, it's quite a long time being away from, especially parents, especially as my parents are like aging now, a little bit older you know so it's a uh, it's something to think about when you come abroad and you're thinking about living abroad permanently you know you are going to be away from your family quite a lot another way it's kind of shaped my life is you know i've ended up marrying a thai lady over in thailand I had a family out in thailand so you know this would never have happened if i'd been in the uk so now i'm basically you know got a multicultural marriage you know, to where two families, you know, complete mixture, so it is. And now I'm raising like a lukrung, which is like, in Thailand, they say whether you, you think it's right or wrong, it's like half child, you know, he's half British, half Thai, you know, he's got he's got British passport and a Thai passport. So he's, he's you know, that is, he's gonna have a very, very different life to myself, you know, he's gonna be a foreigner now, kind of, you know, even though he isn't a foreigner, they are looked upon in Thailand as foreigners. So, you know, he's going to have a bit of a weird kind of upbringing. Hopefully, you know, he's fluent in Thai. So, you know, he's going to, and he's born in Thailand. So, you know, he's going to be able to be accepted a lot better than someone like myself, just because he's going to be completely kind of native level speaking, you know, like my, my lad now, he's in school singing like Thai songs and, you know, growing up with the culture as well, you know, language is, you know, deep in culture as well. Uh, so that's another thing to consider, you know, uh, I've got married, had family out here, now they're embracing them, you know, not really British, you know, so my kid's not going to be 100% British, he's going to have a lot of Thai culture in his upbringing now. Another thing that it's changed, like, you know, because I've lived in Asia so long now, or, or out in Thailand, you know, I just, you, you start to change, you know, I, I sometimes think, you know, am I as British as I was, and I don't think I am, you know, you kind of lose it a little bit and you start becoming more kind of Thai. You know, I find myself walking very slowly like Thai people do. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's probably a good thing for me because I rush around everywhere. So, you know, but I've kind of had that, I kind of ingrained that in me now because I've worked in Thailand so long and just kind of, you know, I do everything a bit slower because, you know, everywhere is hot and the climate and everything. and. The weather's another thing as well, you know, the weather's taken a lot of adapting to it. it I really struggled with it for quite a, long, quite a long time, to be honest, the humidity and stuff. But I feel now, you know, I'm really quite used to it. You know, sometimes it pisses me off for sure. Yeah, it's too hot, to be honest with you. But I do miss them kind of seasonal changes uh, like you get in the UK, but we don't have that in Thailand. You know, it's just like pretty much 32 degrees constantly throughout the whole year, like 12 months of the year. Another way you start to change is, you know, I just generally am not hanging around with as many British people. So, you know, you do change because of that. I'm literally, and you know, because I'm working in schools for so long, I'm, I'm basically just hanging around with Americans, South Africans, Filipinos, some British, you know, Australians, New Zealanders, you know, Canadians, Irish, you know, people from basically all around the world. So, you know, I'm not hanging with a lot of British people, which, you know, so my, my mind and my thinking is starting to change, you know, from all these different influences from different countries, people talking different ways, you know, about life, about things, about family, about everything, you know, uh, and you start, you know, that starts seeping into you eventually when you when you had that for a long time. Uh, so that's another big thing that will change.